but the Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury fight. Uh, do you think it? Do you reckon it will go through? Like, if it was to go through, who would win? Um, and what do you think the round would be? Like, what round do you reckon it'd go to? I well, realistically, Fury should be knocking him out. He's the half brother of Tyson Fury, who, if you don't know, he's one of the greatest boxers in the world. He calls himself the greatest boxer of all time. And yeah, he has looked a bit questionable in recent fights. And obviously he'd want to take this fight against Jake Paul because of all the publicity that it brings, because now Jake Paul is the king of boxing. He gets everyone talking. And yeah, I, I would back him Fury though to probably knock him out in a couple of rounds. Depends how many rounds the fight is. But, mm. you know, you, Fury's young. He should be hungry. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was on Love Island or something like that. So he's very popular <laughs> that's in a, his own right. That is a very, <laughs> that's a weird show for a bloke like that to go on. Surely yeah, he'd have enough money to skip on a show like that, you'd think, right? Uh, yeah, you'd think so. I mean, I, who knows what his intentions were going on that show. I mean, I didn't see any of it. But, yeah, I've, I've heard a fair bit about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly... Well, you'd think he'd win, right? Like, I've heard, of course, his last fight didn't go that well. I think he went... Well, I think he went... He beat his opponent, but even he said yeah, he in his post-game press conference or whatever you want to call it, post-box press conference, that he, he didn't do his best. And I think that, you know, Jake's performance against Tyron Woodley lasting eight rounds... That has boosted his confidence up so much. Oh, like, yeah. That was very yeah. impressive. And mm. Woodley wants that second fight. I mean, oh, yeah. I haven't heard if he's actually getting that tattoo, but mm. I could I could definitely see a second fight between them going down in the future. But Fury should be very hungry after that last fight, and Jake Paul could get complacent sometime soon. It does look like he's very hungry in his own right. Mm. But, yeah, I, I'd back in Fury. Apparently, I saw a rumor that the fight could get uh, like kind of done, like negotiated within the next couple of weeks, which would be absolutely crazy because some people were saying it's going to be a, a late December type fight, which would mean that Jake Paul has fought three different people in one year. Oh, wait, no, four. I think four people because I think he fought Nate Robinson in January or February? Yeah, it was definitely early in the year. Of it ben Askren, April, Woodley, what, September? And then if he goes to a December fight, geez, four fights in a year. You'd think he'd be absolutely gassed. Like he said, he said before his last fight that when he hopped in, he said his like feet were all tingling and stuff like that. And some people were like, oh, he's just making up excuses, this and that. But I don't think people realize if you train consecutively for like, seven months of the year man that that would do oh, a yeah. on your body. he he's taking it very seriously obviously and if it was a december fight like four fights in a year is a lot considering the camps they have to go through which we assume he's doing yeah, we've seen is. how much hard work he's putting in so it it would definitely take a toll and i would be surprised if it was this year i think it's smart for him not to have a fourth fight in a year yeah 100 seriously about uh winning this fight but you know if he just wants as much cash as he can yeah which it doesn't really look like because he's very serious about this and he's going on all these boxing shows uh over on the us on tv yeah. so yeah i if i was him i definitely wouldn't be fighting four times in one year he certainly yeah. doesn't need the money there's a couple of reasons why as well like a tyron woodley two fight it's not happening uh reasons why apparently woodley wants it to be in st louis which or St. Louis, how, however you go about it. Dude, let's be honest here. That's not going to... I don't think that will bring in as much cash as what Jake Paul will probably want it to. Not just that. I think people have moved on from Tyron Woodley now. Like, if they were to rematch, I have no doubt that Jake will be 100% better in a rematch. It'd just be the same result. Like, Jake would probably just win in eight rounds again. Yeah, the thing is, people probably don't want to see a second Woodley fight. They want to see Jake Paul fight other people now mm -hmm. because he's already beaten Woodley. And obviously, Woodley, that would have hurt his ego a lot and yeah. to lose to Jake Paul. So obviously, he would want the next fight. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it will happen, to be honest. He was great in the MMA. Yeah. He was a uh, champion for years and years. 100%. But... I reckon Tommy Fury, if I was Jake, I'd wait till February, like, just oh, get relaxed. Yeah, and definitely. As you said in the press conference, run it back in Cleveland again. Like, why wouldn't you want to 
Like Cleveland wasn't saying that night. I reckon he 100% will.